Hey, my name is Dan. This particular video is a free video from my full course on HTML5 banner advertising using Adobe Animate. There are also free files and I've got some finished files that I save after each YouTube video that you can download from my website. Uh, I'll throw a link down in the description. All right, let's get on to some banner making. All right, this video, we're gonna look at the pencil tool and the vector brush libraries. So first thing I wanna do is we're gonna set fire to the building. To do it, I'm gonna show you how to ungroup. Okay, and um, so on my stage here, I've got my stars layer, which I'm gonna lock. I'm gonna go to my building layer, unlock it, so I can get to it again. And I got a couple of options. I could ungroup it. The problem with ungrouping, say one of these windows, cause I wanna like make it look like there's fire coming out of one of them, um, is that if I ungroup it, it's gonna disappear. Watch this, if I go to, it's not ungroup, weirdly. Uh, it is ungroup, sorry. Ungroup, uh, if I let go of it, can you see it ends up behind there? Okay, which is not really what I want. So a way to go inside this group here is to double click it, watch this. If I double click, watch everything else is gonna fade out in the background and this at the top here is gonna change. So I double click it. So it's faded out and you can see I'm inside this group here. So I've kind of like dug in and then kind of like appeared inside of this group. What I can do now while I'm in here is I'm gonna change this to an orange. Yeah, go. And then to get back, you either click on scene one, which is our kind of home base stage, um, or you can just double click anywhere out here. That's what I like to do. And we've kind of, it's still grouped, which is nice, but we dove inside of it to change the color. Um, so what I would like to do now is I'm gonna lock all two of these layers, make a new layer, make sure this layer is on top. Okay, so I clicked hold and dragged it up, and I'm gonna call this one fire. And I'm gonna show you the pencil tool. So the pencil tool's here. And it comes with a couple of options. Now, because I'm on my laptop, I can't see them all. So I'm gonna extend this out a little bit so it goes into two. Can you see it has grabbed that edge there? So if you're on a laptop like me, there's gonna be some settings that you can't see down the bottom here that I want. So I'm gonna drag him out, and there you go. And he splits into two columns. Um, and this is the one that I want. Um, depending on yours might be set to straighten, smooth, or ink. So just to show you that ink is exactly how you had imagined it. Um, I'm gonna pick a stroke color of um, red, it's gonna be my fire. But like say I draw fire this way, it's not bad, okay? It follows your pencil um, pretty much perfectly. So I'm gonna undo that. Uh, the other option, straighten is gonna try and do it. Um, this one here is, it's really good for kind of drawing really straight lines. Can you see it tries to fix it all? And when you do curves, it tries to turn it, if I go into circle mode, can you see it did a perfect circle? It's kind of cool, I never use it. Um, so I'm gonna delete all you guys. The one I use quite a bit is the smooth one. So back to the pencil, there's this one here called smooth. The reason I like smooth is that it's got this kind of adjustable setting. If it's down at zero, it doesn't do a whole lot. It does what ink does. But if I can crank this up to say 50%, it's gonna help me a little bit so that my curves aren't so bad. So if you're drawing, can you see I'm drawing with my mouse, but it's kind of like sharpening them up. So watch this, if I draw, then let go. Can you see, oh, it didn't straighten it well, but you get the point. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw some flames out of here. So my building's on fire. Awesome. So that's the pencil tool. Now let's look at one of the new things for Adobe Animate and it's the brush libraries. Brush libraries just help you turn these kind of like really basic strokes. So I'm gonna select them all with my black arrow. All of you guys. The nice thing about it is because they're on their own separate layers and I've locked the other layers, I can select everything in here. I'm just dragging a box around it and I only get the stuff that's on my layer. The next thing I wanna look at is under window, brush libraries, there it is. Okay, and come down here. So there's a bunch of pre-made ones. Let's look at some of the ones that we're not gonna use now, but the arrows are quite useful. Watch this, if I pick an arrow, the standard arrows, and I double click it, can you see what happens to my um, lines over here? They've got little um, point heads at the front of it. And what you can do is watch this. So I'm gonna move them out of the way, and you see there's my stroke, so I can increase the stroke. And can you see my play heads, uh, sorry, the, the, the arrow heads are increasing? Okay, so I've got up to 26. Um, I'm not too sure what I'm gonna use yet, but there's artistic, there's some decorative ones, there's some really bad ones in here. They're all just hacked out of Illustrator. You might've seen them before. Um, so let's have a look at some of these other ones. So I'm in vector pack, double click. Can take a little time to apply some of these more complicated brushes. And I'm just trying to find something that looks kind of like flames. That doesn't work. Looks like an explosion. That was kind of cool. Uh, the ones I was using before and uh, chalk charcoal pencil are quite cool. 
this one here I decided on, or maybe this one underneath. That works for me. All right, so I'm gonna crush, close that down, click off in the background, and you can see here, it looks a little bit more like flames out the window. So you can import other ones. So if you find stuff, and what you wanna do is look for um, brushes, but you can bring in the ones from Illustrator, and there's a lot more online in terms of free vector brushes um, that you can import into Adobe Animate and use for um, your animations. All right, so that's the pencil tool and the uh, brush libraries. All right, that's it for the free video. It was pretty good, right? What I really want you to do now is I want you to go and sign up for my full course. Uh, I'll put a link in the description if you're keen. I have loads of other good free stuff, so make sure you subscribe. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you liked it. And yeah, how did I? Good YouTube people.